Welcome to episode 42 of A Message From. We are your hosts. I'm Allison. I'm Edward. We've had a rough start this morning. Take two. My, <laughs> take two. My computer, it gave up on me. She decided, bye. I don't want you anymore. Yes. I don't live here. So stuff the lost happened. Intro. The lost intro. We'll <laughs> the never lost. get it back. <laughs> we'll never get it back, but we'll do it better the second time around because um, I have a lot of things to talk about. Yes. So where we left off, you were about to serenade me with a list of updates. Um, Mm -hmm. One that included you being sad first. And then that's when your computer decided to be sadder. Even more sad. Yes. So what makes you sad? Current now? So I finally tried Marmite. I thought I was going to like it. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I tried one bite and I was like, no, this can't be right. I'm sorry. This isn't right. I tried another bite. I was like, hmm. No, it's it's still not right. Like I'm gonna try to a third bite and I threw it away. I not the oh, whole jar, but the the. Toast is it the same as Vegemite? Is that or is that the Australian it's very, thing? Yeah, Vegemite's the Australian thing. They're very similar. I don't know what the difference between the two is, but it's like. Yeah, me too. I don't even know <laughs> what it is. It's like this like yeast spread something. I don't know, but I'm it like it does nasty. It sounds nasty, but I'm like it doesn't look bad. It doesn't smell bad. I put nutritional yeast on my food all the time and it tastes good and i'm like it's does nutritional yeast have a taste it does genuine question no it does it does it's almost like a nutty mild cheesy taste it's good it's really good oh okay so i'm like i wasn't expecting marmite to taste like that but i wasn't expecting it to taste like someone was pouring acid down my throat either Okay. So now I'm like, All right. what do I do? What do I do? Okay. I hate Marmite. I hate Marmite. And then I Googled, like, how do you tell if Marmite's gone bad? I'm like, maybe it went bad or something. No, and I think the it just we- tastes like it's gone bad. <laughs> yeah. The weirdest YouTube video popped up about, like, how awful Marmite is. And it was, like, these weird cartoon people doing weird things. And I was like, this ridiculous video is exactly how I felt putting that Marmite on. <laughs> I can't wait. You have to link that to me. I want to. I might want to watch it. How long is that video? It's really short. It's like a couple minutes or something, and it's confusing oh, okay, okay. and it makes no sense. And I'm like, this is Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So Marmite is ass. What's yes. your next update? But my next update makes me so happy. So okay. a roller coaster of emotions. Yes, news leaked out this week that my, one of my favorite Formula One drivers, Carlos mm-hmm. Sainz. And my favorite MotoGP rider, Mark Marquez. Yes, the Spanish ones. There is a second Spanish driver in Formula One, Fernando Alonso. He's still super popular in Spain, but like, whatever. He's old. Um, (laughs) They're both, they're both going to be in the final season of Casa de Papel. Doing Ah! what? I don't know, but they, there's a picture of Carlos and he's wearing like the red jumpsuit and he has the mask. Oh. Ah! So maybe they're going to be hostages or something, but I'm so excited. Inter- I don't even remember how that last season ended. No, JK, <laughs> I do remember. <laughs> I need the recap already. My brain has already dumped it out in the trash. Our brains are not are not built anymore to remember things that don't, like, season recaps are beautiful. We love oh my gosh, they're necessary. Need. They're so yeah. essential. Well, that's exciting. Nothing... We need nothing more on Casa de Papel than more characters with city names that I don't understand why they're around. <laughs> right, right. But that's fine because I'm pretty sure Carlos and Mark, are they both from Madrid? You can just call them Madrid. They can both be uh, Madrid twins. I, I have no idea. Oh, they're both from Madrid. Oh, that's... Oh. I think so. Yeah, they wouldn't... I don't think anybody in that show... No one in that show has a Spanish city name, do they? mm I don't think so, but maybe these two will... Uh, that the seems too on the Spanish nose. Calling somebody names. Madrid. Yeah, never mm, know. Eh, I guess. Mm. Singapore would be a good name. Singapore Maybe. would be a good name. There are races in Singapore. That could work. <laughs> See, you know without actually knowing. You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what's anyway, your next moving update? On. <laughs> moving on. My next update. Um, 
I think you might have a similar update, but Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Read Taylor's version. Let's talk about it. Okay. Well, let's How much talk have you about listened it. to it? The literally the only thing I've listened to is All Too Well. And the only the 10 minute reason, version? The 14 minute version. The only reason, 14. the only reason I've listened to it, I've only heard it once, and it's because I watched the short film. Uh, and do you know why I watched the short film? Because Dylan O'Brien is in it. I saw that Dylan O'Brien and that girl who's the one of the who's the redhead girl from Stranger Things. I didn't remember what she was from. Yeah, well, it's because Stranger Things last season was fucking fourteen years ago. Who knows when the next I, one's coming out? Oh, also, I had didn't watch the last season of Stranger Things. I only watched. I sh- two. I don't know when the redhead rolls up because I watched all three seasons, two seasons, three seasons in a row. I think there's three because I didn't watch the last one, and I'm pretty uh, sure okay, I watched yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. So I only watched, yeah. I watched the three all together, but I watched them in Italian. So mm. we don't got to get okay. into it. I had to do it that way because <laughs> I was babysitting. So um, I don't remember when she rolls up, but she's a great actress in that show. Yeah. Anyway. I say, yeah, I obviously didn't see her in it. So <laughs> yeah, sure. Very but yeah, that was agreement. <laughs> That was the only reason I watched it, um, because I love Dylan O'Brien. He's an incredible actor. Like, so good. So. I did not know Dylan O'Brien was considered to be a, an incredible actor, quote for quote. Okay. Well, he's an incredible actor in my book. Here's the thing. Here's okay. the thing. The Here movies that he's been in are super cheap. You know, they're like, well, I never the Maze watched Runner. Maze Runner. I never watched Maze Runner, but that's uh-huh. like one of those cult movies. You know, like, I feel like every time there's like a cult book series, that's like, people are super obsessed with and then you go see the movies aside from harry potter or like maybe lord of the rings the movies tend to be really cheesy like they're not great so i don't know well, what yeah quality. like young adult it's like the whole the, yes. the hunger games thing yes, the, yeah that whole thing um the movies and the acting is sometimes a little like eh, but young you see adult them anyway. fiction dystopia yes. novels <laughs> exactly but you see them yeah. anyway because the books were great and you're obsessed with them and whatever but okay so this is a hot take right like he starred in Teen Wolf, the MTV series that ran for like yes. six or seven seasons, which like, okay, cheesy MTV series remake of like the 1980s movie or whatever. But his uh-huh. acting in that show is so good. And I'm like, I don't remark on people's acting, but like. Yeah, I've never heard so- you talk about someone's acting in terms of right? quality. No, but he's so good. He's It's weird. It's weird. But like. It's a thing. So I was like, oh my gosh, Dylan O'Brien. Okay, let me watch this Taylor Swift short film. And then I watched it. And then the song in the background was so like country vibes, you know, back when she first started out. Wait, I was getting, have like, you never really vibes. listened to Red before? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Like, You're having a very you... different experience with Red than I am. <laughs> no, I was like, what? what is Red? Whatever. I don't know oh. about that. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. I'm not a Swifty. I can't believe your first, like, red experience was the 10 minute version of All Too Well. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised, though? No, I guess not. I was going to ask you, I was like, I don't know if she's into Taylor Swift or not, in terms of, like, everyone back in the day was, like, into red and stuff in, like, 1980. Oh, yeah. <sighs> like, obvi- I But you don't... listen to British rap, so I it's a toss-up <laughs> between a yes or a no. <laughs> My first really experience with Taylor Swift was on a, a drive to Kentucky to go to the Kentucky Derby, and that was in my very, like, anti-anything country music days, and that was in Taylor Swift's, like, full-on country music days. Ah. Uh. And then I was like, do, do I like this? Do, <laughs> do I like Taylor Swift? And then I was like, maybe I like Taylor Swift. But then, but then after you, like, that, never I, followed up with it? Yeah, I never followed up with it. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I don't remember Red. I was, I was talking to a friend about this yesterday. So I, li- I spent all day listening to it. All fucking day. Okay. Um, I walked around in the leaves listening to it. Like, <laughs> I felt very basic. You were having um, a moment. I was. I mean, I also needed to walk to certain places. It just happened to be the park where all the leaves were falling. And I was like, <laughs> Red. Um, so I was talking to a friend about it yesterday. And she was like, this is giving me like big when I was 19 vibes. And I was like, same. Obviously, we were 19 when it came out. Um, but she was like, are you giving? Are you getting, like, visceral, like, 
throwback memories to like listening to this. And I was like, yes, like I remember certain specific things I was doing when I like when a certain song would come on. And I didn't know that I had such a connection to Red. And because for me, like my favorite title was 1989. But then I forgot that that fall 2012 was like, all we did was listen to Red and like other shit. But like, fall- wait, so is this a full on remake or like re-release of a previous album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's, like, going back and redoing her discography. I think something that has to do with, like, song rights or some shit like that. So she's redoing them. So I think she gets more money, which, like, sure, go for it. Pop off. I didn't know that. And also re-releasing, like, things that were never released before and adding a 10-minute version of a song. So um, That I listened to when I never listened to it before. that song is great. I just didn't realize I loved Red so much. And I, like, truly, I love it. I need to go look at it now and be like, have I Hold heard on, any of these for songs? For some reason, <laughs> my fucking AirPods just connected, even though they're in this case. So I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Shoot myself in the face. This is, we've had a uh, lot of technical difficulties Oh, today. my God. We're only at 11 minutes, too. Oh, oh no. I'm back goodness. on external hard. No, I'm back on my headphones. It just switched Oh, you're good. You good? We good? Yeah, we're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah. I need to Should listen we leave to that in? Yeah, leave it. Whatever. <laughs> Today's a shit show. Um, <laughs> I need to listen to Red and see if I actually know any of the songs. And I'm sure there was like whatever you do. the singles You know, were, like 22. Know oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which was funny because like listening to it now, I'm like, clearly I'm not 22 anymore. Um, when I think about like, I, like fall 2012, mm-hmm. fall 2012, um, was that my first senior year in college? I had two. I went for a, uh, an extra semester after the four years. So I had a super senior year. But um, I my you first would graduate year, already by like 40 years from then. I mean, right? Suppose 2012. I didn't. Um, gosh, my friend and I. Yeah, I was just living with a friend. It was, it was good times. 2012. That was the summer that I had an internship summer. in Canada. Oh. And then I came back. <laughs> And then I was working in the dining hall all year, which I had been always working in the dining hall anyway. What else happened in 2012? Sounds like not much. Whatever. (laughs) Anyway, moving on. (laughs) I actually just talked about fall 2012 on my newsletter, the third dot substack dot com. And uh, shameless plug. You read it. You read it. (laughs) I read it. Did the listeners read it? No, I don't. Are y'all subscribed? No, I don't think they are. Um, Maybe a few because I've manually um, entered in their email addresses. But (laughs) uh, very nostalgic for fall 2012 currently. But that's only been exacerbated by the the red renaissance. Mm. Did you like that? I did. Thank you. That was beautiful. The look on your face said, nor I did not like it. But yeah, you should listen to it and see if you like any of the songs. I will. I will. I really like to State it. of Grace. I think it's my favorite one. I've never heard of that. No, that's not. It wasn't a single. So, okay. I'll give it a well, listen. this has been fun. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> moving on from Taylor Swift. Um, yeah, we'll let you know if I become a Swifty in the next week. <laughs> um, oh, did you usually to move on to or no? <laughs> oh no, I don't have anything to move on to. to you. you were transitioning, so I was like, oh, she's gonna take it away. <laughs> I mean, no, I was just trying to push us past the Taylor Swift Okay, I think we should just... Let's take a break, y'all. Let's take a break. Let's take this break and get into this message, and hopefully they have no more tech issues. We need a break. We need a break. We need a break. Hey, everyone. This is Edward. Just wanted to say thanks so much for being a listener and tuning into the content that we provide here on A Message From... If you would be so kind to tell a friend or leave a review or subscribe, you know, do all that stuff, that'd be great. And if you want, don't forget you can send messages to us at 202-630-4509 or a message from pod at gmail.com. And we have the Instagram, a message from, and the blog for extra content, amfpod.com. And we just wanted to say thanks. Now back to the pod. We are here. Welcome back from that much needed break. We have a message from Diane. Do you want to tell us who Diane is? 
Diane, who I, sorry, I'm just going to call her Darn Baby. Um, it, Diane, as she says in her message, she's my roommate. Um, Diane and I have known each other now for three, four years, I think. No. Yes. No. Three years. Um, and we used to work together, but now we live together. We don't work together anymore. I'll explain the whole Dern baby nickname after her message. Fabulous. Yes. And I must just say, Diane is a lovely person. Oh I met God, her in met August. Baby. I met Dern baby. Little Miss I, Dern baby. Yes. She's Love currently her. cleaning the bathroom, I think. Oh. No. Yeah, so if you hear that, it's Dern baby. <laughs> yes. Okay. Here we go. Hi, a message from I'm Diane, and I'm Edward's roommate. I've been wanting to send a message to the pod for a while now, and I'm really glad that I'm finally doing it now. So here it goes. With our busy lives and nonstop hustles every day, it's always so difficult to keep track of our habits. And so I wanted to talk about habits in general. What is that one or maybe two or more habits that you guys live by and encourage everyone to try? Is there any habit or habits that you have now that you've never imagined you would have had before? Do you track your habits? And if sometimes you do forget about it, how do you actually get back on track? I'm asking this because Edward and I have known each other for a while now. And I could say that we were so different a few years back. And we've both really changed over the years and developed so many habits. And since we live together, we both could see that. So I guess also pre-pandemic, during the pandemic, and almost post-pandemic, we're all different people in each of those stages. So yeah, I wanted to know what are your thoughts about that. More power to your pod and sending love from our piece of here in Madrid. Ciao. Oh my gosh, more power to our pod. I love that. <laughs> I, knew you were I like love that. it. <laughs> okay, so. More power to us. Thank you, Darn Baby. Thank you, Diane. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say Darn Baby. Thank you, Darn Baby. Um, so, Diane's nickname came from the fact that um, I was really obsessed with Australian accents um, the second year that we worked together. Did and- I know that? I don't know. That's where the whole Nor thing came from before it was an internet thing. Not that I'm did, saying I, I started it, but I didn't know that. That's where you got that from either. I thought it was oh, just yeah. like like an internet thing. No, so there was a subletter in the house um, that summer, the the Italian summer. Um, number right. one. N- number two. Where you ditched me. The one I was kidnapped on. Yes. And um, that's how I'm referring to it now. (laughs) (laughs) Um, That summer, we had a subletter who was from Australia. And she was like a living nightmare. Um, (laughs) But like, I would like listen to her talk a few times before I ended up leaving myself. And she would say things like Ikea instead of Ikea, which I was obsessed with. And also everyone said, doesn't everyone in Europe say Ikea? Yeah, kind of. But it was much funnier when she said it. Um, Sorry, I'm ruining your Australian dream. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, And so I was like really obsessed with it. But we also worked with an Australian that year. So I had to like tone it down at work because it was like every other word out of my mouth was like nor, yar, like like, really bad Australian accent stuff. So long story short, we were at the holiday party um, for work and I started just calling Diane Dern. But wouldn't it be like Diane yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was just like being an idiot because I was okay. just putting like er on everything. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Dern was born. And then because Dern is famously very young, she's Dern baby. And a Dern um, is born. A, <laughs> a Dern is born. <laughs> yeah. So that's where that came from. This is like totally not part of what she wants to talk about. But that's why I'll yeah. refer to her as Dern baby or little Miss Dern baby. We have totally commandeered this lovely message. Yes, have it. Also, burned it alive. Little Mr. Baby, very shady. (laughs) Very shady message at some points. So Uh, what, what, I don't even, what habits do you have? Habits. Okay. So there are two habits that are just like diehard habits. I don't have to worry about falling off. They're not going away. They just. And that would be chain smoking. and and, (laughs) Yes. No, working out and reading. I work this out every day. I read every day. Aside from like a couple of, you know, sometimes you need a day off from working out. No big deal. Yeah. Um, 
all about balance, but for the most part, I work out every day and I read every day. And I really enjoy doing both of those things. So Mm -hmm. they're like very good, healthy habits, but I also really enjoy them. So like I track them, like I'll have it in my planner or whatever, but yeah, it's kind of like a, just a, what's the word I'm looking for? A formality. Like when I check that box next to my workout at this time today like read today it's like i check it off but you're writing it to check it off essentially yes basically i would do it if i didn't track it in my planner yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. those are two good ones you do work on read a lot that's a very good point i don't read as much as i should but i don't read as much as i used to but well anyway what are before i get into the habits that i kind of like have a hard time sticking with what are some of yours that you stick with and do well um i was trying to think about this and i was like coming up with a lot of nada um <laughs> but i do have a lot of habits but i i like i'm a very much a creature of habit but i couldn't think of anything that was like i work out every day or i read every day like i mean i weigh myself every morning I don't care what I the number that. is. I just like I did that it. for a while, and then I realized that my scale reads a drastically different weight depending on where it's put in the room. And I was like, okay, well, why? <laughs> if I weigh a hundred, like if I weigh ten pounds less on the left side of the room than I do on the right side of the room, what do I weigh? Yeah, so I yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like mine is like I always have to like sort of like play with it first just to see like where it's gonna land and it's usually like yeah. one off of zero on either side so I'm always doing like weird math I just do it just to do it I don't actually really care what the number is but like that I mean I stretch in the morning now I do that that thing for that we did for our workout thing that five minute one I do mm-hmm. it every morning now um I in need bed. to in bed that's nice it's so nice Lur. I mean she does say you can do it from bed she does that's why I was like oh my god permission love because, like, getting out the yoga mat every morning and, like, you know, obviously doable. It's only five minutes. But doing it in bed is so much nicer. Mm. Um, but other than that, it's, like, I just, like, I make bread every week. I make peanut butter every two weeks. I, Those are fun. Yeah. Your peanut butter is good. I will say your homemade yeah. peanut butter is bomb. It's good shit. Dern Baby actually made fun of me recently for it because it's very brown because she says that I just dump cinnamon in it. And I said... You're not wrong. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, I there's like seasonal stuff that I do. Like, I I eat based on the seasons. Mm-hmm. I try to. Um, That's something I would love to stick with, but I don't because it's so like. I went to the grocery store yesterday. A whole freaking shelf full of strawberries, and then I'm like, a strawberry would be so nice right now. They're not in season. No, they're not. They're not. The part I didn't of the get reason them, is because but... I read that that like daily habit book last fall yeah. um which was basically just ayurveda um and then also like apparently it's also like better if you like eat with the seasons because of like climate change or whatever but like yes, yes to be exactly. fair you eating a strawberry in uh november is not exactly going to tip the climate change scale uh <laughs> no it won't so, i like, try to do my part but it's the like, strawberry is not going to break us. We're already broken. <laughs> no, it's like, it doesn't matter if there's like an oil spill and then like you eat a strawberry. It's the two very different things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So those are kind of things I stick to. I, I don't know. I've been making like seasonal balancing teas. Ooh, that yeah. sounds interesting. That's been a new habit. Um, what about habits that you're like meme about? Well, so I tried... um. I tried journaling and I stuck with it for a very long time last year. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of just stopped. Yeah. That was really nice to do it. But it got to the point where I was like, journaling every day was just a little bit too much for me. So I think I should make a habit of being like, just a habit of being more mindful in general. And then journaling as I feel the need to like on a more regular basis, but not every day. Yeah, I know what you mean. And uh, I'm just, it's hit, sorry, this is off topic, but it's hitting me. My other habit that I do every day that I don't even think about, but I do Duolingo every single day. Oh, uh, you my do? Streak, my streak is over 600 days. That's over... Uh, no, it's not over two years. 
Um, I but it's like, close. Get into two years. It's getting. It's almost to the two year <gasps> mark. I'm oh so wait, proud. I do. I do the midday check in on the Calm app, and I've mm. for almost two years now too. Look I mean, us. is that the same as learning a language with Duolingo? Nor I just click one button saying how I feel, and then I just hit done. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, since but you're checking in with your inner self. Yes, most of the days I just put unsure. <laughs> <laughs> Most days I am unsure. Yeah, well, I was like, I don't know. It's like 2 p.m. every day. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just click a button. But um, so I I just going to say along the lines of the journaling thing, I also mm-hmm. go through like phases with the habits where like I'll journal for a month or like I'll meditate for a month or things like that. And I sometimes feel bad that I don't keep up, but then I know that I'll come back to it eventually. Um, yeah. They're just like habits of of convenience. Um, yeah, but then is it even a like forcing yourself to do it every day isn't then a good habit? So I don't feel that's true. bad it should about come naturally. It should come yeah, naturally. I don't. I don't feel bad about. I will say that not book, sticking with it every single day. Yeah, I would say that book that um, remember Bobby got me that um, mindfulness. Tr- no, he won a mindfulness journal that he sent to me. Um, yes, because he'd already bought one for himself by the time that he won it. Um, and that journal was great because a, it had prompts for a while, which was like Mm -hmm. fun. Um, but also like the setup of it was nice because it had the part where you'd like journal journaled, but it had like the section where how do you feel? It had like, you know, little things to break up the monotony of like just writing every day. Um, so that was kind of nice. I kind of just, when I finished the book, I just copied it into my, my, uh, bullet journal. So (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I was following Love. journaling prompts for a while, and then the prompts that I was following, I felt like were getting really repetitive. So that was I think part of the reason. Generally, that I didn't they stick just get repetitive. It. Yeah, I mean, you can only think of so many good journal prompts, and then some days I would just kind of like write whatever I was thinking about. But yeah, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot after a while. So I took you a and break. I, every, yeah, you and I were doing challenges, little mini habit challenges this year starting in mm-hmm. probably march or february i think we started in april you started before i did you had done a couple months before april. i did i think i joined you're in right april. it was april because i started doing push-ups in april um, yeah and i was behind and oh my gosh yes, catching yes. up on those push-ups was a nightmare yes yes so we did that until this month we stopped in november yeah. um and those were nice but they were all workout related mm-hmm. um but I would be down to do some in 2022 that are just like general stuff. Because be fun. Isn't the way to get a habit is like just to do it for a while and then it just like starts and it being a habit. Yeah, it just becomes natural. And then yeah. having a partner that you can check in with and hold you accountable would be really yeah. nice. Oh, also, I am that freak that goes into my phone and sets reminders at certain times of the day to remember to do things. Like when I wake up, it says like, weigh yourself, check your pulse. And oh, I check my pulse like every two hours. Um... Have you ever had like a weird pulse reading that no. concerned you? <laughs> no, it was like getting in tune with your body type of thing. Like if you listen oh, okay. to your pulse for like a couple of seconds, like every so often during the day, like you're more in tune with yourself or whatever. And I was like, okay, sure, I can do that. Do I this, just mostly just click complete it and I'll actually do it. Um, I came across a weird reel last night. It was some uh, like mountain man guy walking next to a, a stream in the forest. And it was something uh, about like this frequency helps you get in tune and concentrate and focus. You should listen to this sound twice a day. And it was just this weird. It he just wants his real uh, view count to go up. <laughs> I know, but it sounded like one of like when people have like those sounding bowls or whatever they oh, are. Oh yeah. Or like when you like a little thing and it was like that kind of noise. And I was like, and it was like, where do you feel this in your body? And I was like sitting there like, do I feel this sound in my brain? <laughs> You're like, this is that's Instagram. What, <laughs> that's what makes me, like, that's what you checking your pulse to get in tune with your body oh. made me think of. Oh, my God. So it's 2 o'clock currently when we're recording this. And on my computer, check your pulse. And on my phone, check your pulse. And how are you feeling? Oh, my gosh. Should do I it check live in? on the pod. Check in. Okay. What is your I'm, pulse? I'm checking my pulse. Um, Hold on. This is not working because I'm holding my phone. This is embarrassing now. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to keep talking while you check your pulse and then let me know, like, when your pulse is checked and then you can do your check-in. And maybe today you won't be unsure about how you're feeling. You'll be feeling good because you just checked your pulse. My pulse feels um, 
normal. I don't know. I don't do it very often. Normal. Um, <clears throat> it may be a little fast because we're we're having a we're funny chatting. conversation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what is my heart rate? What's my heart rate? Oh, oh this yeah. Can't be, this can't be right. I feel like I'm more excited than this, but my watch is telling me it's 69, which is only about 10 above my resting. So I feel mm. like we're more animated than this, but it maybe not. Am maybe I not, not interested in this conversation? Uh, it's gone mm. up to 76 now. Could that seem like 77, it. 78. Okay. We're getting there. I'm a little more excited. <laughs> you worked now. yourself up. <laughs> I worked. I, I purposely worked myself up. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your resting heart rate? Sorry. This bitch, is totally, I don't know. I don't have we're a We're off the rails. Mine is like 59, 60. I, how do you calculate that? I don't know. I think you could just check your beats per minute. Like, don't you, don't you just like count your? Yeah, I don't want to do that though. That's a long time. I don't know. Yeah, we don't How do you know you're that. counting right? I never. I mean, that. just count. <laughs> yeah, but what do you feel every single beat? Like, yeah. Do you really feel it? I yeah. feel like I don't feel it. Are my fingers dead? Do you know how to check your? This is we're going off the rails. Um, no, gonna, I don't. So, so. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Back to Dern's message. Habits. Yes. Yes. Um, hold on. I have to check in. Though I opened it, and if I don't do it, I'm going to forget, and I'm going to be mad that I missed a day. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. Yes. And good. You're feeling good. There's You're no good. You're not unsure. It's happy, excited, grateful, relaxed, content, tired, unsure, bored, anxious, angry, stressed, sad. Was there a happy? Yes. You're happy. Okay. You're well, talking to me. Let's re- okay. So let's see. What day is this? This is day six hundred and twenty-three. Wow, that's good. Yes, yes. How many days at my? What's my Duolingo streak up to? This is truly off the rails. I cannot wait to edit this. Honestly, we just go where our hearts take us. Yes. Didn't Taylor Swift say something like that once? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Today will be my 645th day of dueling. Oh, uh, congratulazione. That's not correct in any language. Um, I guess briefly, we got to wrap this up, but um, breaking bad habits. Have you broken any bad habits? Yes, actually. Um, mm. I used to like bite my... I don't know, like not bite my nails, but like bite, like bite my fingers a lot. Like bite <laughs> that's even weirder. You should have like, bite your nails. <laughs> whatever, like or like I would always, be, you know how like if you get like a hangnail or something, I would always just like play with that and like you wouldn't rip I it out, know, rip it off, and I feel like my fingernails always looked rough because I I don't know was it like a nervous habit or something? Probably yeah, nerves. But it sometimes like ticks like that, right? I used to do that a lot, and I don't do that anymore. And I don't really know how I broke the habit, but that's good. I obs- like I obsessively touch my hair. Um, oh, I do that too. I will yeah. never break that habit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My therapist was like, "You touch your hair a lot," and I was like, "Okay, all right." Okay, well, that's <laughs> yeah. the least of our concerns here. Okay, <laughs> touching my hair a lot, whatever. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, ready to end. That's <laughs> we're ending. <laughs> um. Thank you, little Miss Dern Baby, who is now done cleaning the bathroom. Um, so enjoy that ambient sound in the back of my audio track. Um, for sending in a message, thanks, little Miss Dern Baby. You'll get she got a postcard already because I walked it into her room. Oh no, you're sending her a postcard. I'm sending her a postcard. <laughs> it's sitting on my counter right now, stamped and ready to go. I need to go to yes. the post office. I have a couple deliveries to make. Yes. Um, you can receive a postcard by sending in a message to 202-630-4509. If you live in the United States, if you live outside of the U.S., you can send a message to a message from pod at gmail.com where you can either send in a voice message or do a little tippy tappy and write to us. Um, also don't forget to rate and review us five stars on only Apple podcasts because that's where it matters. We don't make the rules. We have a mm, a review. I was gonna say a message. We have a review from Yamatha. Um, my mom, you're literally your mother. Yes. Hi mom. I'm famous. (laughs) That's that's not the right. (laughs) Okay. Uh, it says, and I quote, first of all, I love spending my Tuesday morning with your podcast. It's up and ready to listen to at 5 a.m., maybe even earlier. Yes, I think it is earlier. <laughs> yes, thank you, Edward. Edward. 
I love the way you get Allison going. It's refreshing to hear her laugh, seeing how she lives so far away from home. And you, Edward, super far from your home. I'm not sure how your parents do it. Anyway, your friendship has remained true and special, even though you are both miles, countries, away from each other. It's refreshing. Okay, I could go on and on, but I'll end with great podcast. Listen, everyone, you won't regret it. Love, Mom. Sandy. Wow, that's beautiful. It was great. I am obsessed. That's um, lovely. So please Thank you. do that and we will read it. Um, you, sh- you could make a little acrostic poem with your name. Um, oh, wow. You could. That would be fun. be fun. Very fun. Um, or you could be really shady to us if you want to. Um, as long as it's it. five stars. Yeah, five stars. Five stars. If you it's can't be shady below, and leave a one star, okay? No, 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 no. We don't deal with that shit. Um, so yeah, that's that. And uh, check us out on a message from my Insta, amfpod.com. I don't think we have a blog post, nor. This, oh my gosh, this episode. No. no. It is what it is. <laughs> we hope you enjoy. No a blog, blog post on how to figure out your resting heart rate. <laughs> Actually, that'd be really useful. <laughs> okay, that might happen, but it also probably will not. <laughs> but it's possible. <laughs> TBD. Okay, all right. From Madrid with love. What was that? Goodbye. From my heart to yours. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> from my heart to yours bye good time